Four and a half years ago, Lenny Schultz lost his life tragically in an accident at the Mixing Bowl in Springfield, Virginia. You know, this guy loved Madison football. He was a superstar, seven letters, varsity letters at NC State in wrestling and football. He was a big man, bigger than life. But you know what? The impact he left at Madison, the school he loved, lives on even today. Frankly, to me, he was just kind of the big scary guy who was walking through the halls. Lenny Schultz was bigger than life. Lenny was always a bigger kid growing up. Everything he did from swimming to football, he always won. He moved from New Jersey to Virginia in the 11th grade and played for the Madison Warhawks. He was indomitable and refused to lose. After high school, he lettered seven times as a two-sport athlete at North Carolina State University in wrestling and football. He would return to Northern Virginia, though, and this giant found a home at his high school alma mater. He was just so proud and so happy that he could have his high school quarterback as his offensive coordinator on his dream job. Lenny was hired as the head football coach at Madison High School, a dream come true. This school had made a mark on Lenny, but as their football coach, now he would forever change Madison. As great a football coach as Lenny was, it, 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 and as important as that was to Lenny, it was more about teaching and it was more about young people. He was such a special person and I, you know, I've been a football coach my whole life and I've never been around a guy that he cared way more about the 78th guy on the roster who couldn't play a lick of football. I know when he changed thousands of lives, I, I think he may have saved a few lives. I mean, I think there's a couple kids that if they wouldn't have had somebody believe in him the way Lenny believed in him, I'm not sure what would have happened to him. We have a former kid here. The guy's got a tattoo of Lenny on his back. And that kid probably would not be around today. That player wrote a book report about me, about a coach his book report was about a coach that gave me a second chance. He changed people's lives. He changed my life. I mean, he made me a softie as a coach. Schultz, his brother and nephew. When Lenny passed away, it was a huge shock to everybody. Lenny had changed a culture at Madison, but was now taken without warning on June 24th, 2017, in a tragic accident. And the truck, something was loose. And he goes, hey, this is not going to be pretty if I have a runaway boat. I got to pull over. It was the worst day of my life. It was probably 30 days before our football season was supposed to start. Everything on ball movement. The Warhawks staff has remained in place, tight knit, carrying the legacy of this great coach. A strange Warhawk has hovered over the team's games many times in the years since the loss of Schultz. And that's just cool as heck. I mean, definitely. Yeah, you know, gotta have something to do with Coach Holtz there. They believe that Lenny is with them, and this year they went further than they have ever been, playing for a chance at a state title just a week ago. So falling short, there may be more work to do, but this Madison family grows stronger in the memory of Lenny Schultz. And Coach Justin Counts has been gracious, humble, and he leads this team with strength while they honor their fallen hero. Excellent story, Joe. Excellent. He is loved by everybody in that Vienna community. Sure.